anime girls are keeping you single. Watch to the end to find out how. How anime girls are keeping you single. Somebody, uh, somebody linked me this, and I thought I would watch it. Your Let's go. Isn't real. Uh, Whoa. Sorry. Anime stocks have gone up 10% across the board in the last year alone. I'm wow. talking a 200% increase in manga sales. Won't you animate and you can- 200% increase in manga sales? That's a lot. I think one of the big reasons for that is because there's no types of like, uh, like messaging in a lot of this manga, mm -hmm. or at least it's not messaging in a way that Western audiences don't like. Okay. That makes sense count and movies so good they should have been at the oscars behind all this there's one singular driving force that's caused this tidal wave of culture that's breaching I our that. shores oh boy. and that's waifus nah, i'm just screwing around anime is anime because of the jaw dropping stories the breathtaking your fights name. and the nut twisting characters that being said i ain't watching shit if it's all dudes there i said it I that's fair i mean he said it <laughs> we were all thinking it it's true I'm here for the waifus, and I'll go out on a limb and really? say that, so are two- I don't know about that! Like, dude- Oh, come on, Asmon, you agree, you just don't want to say so in, in front of your- Your bros. I was thinking back on it, the first season of JoJo, there were basically no women involved with this at all. That's fair, actually. That That's, that's entirely true. Like, yeah, JoJo, like, yeah, what do you mean? Like, there's, like, think about Stardust Crusaders. There's, like, a couple of these, like, women are, like, you know, they're fighting against them. But, like, every once in a while, uh, you know, fucking <laughs> Joseph calls up his wife. Yeah, 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 things are good. Yeah, we're working. You yeah, know, your grandson's doing great. All right, bye. Okay, all right, let's get back to work. No, there she's you go. fine, guys. Let's go. And that's it. And they're back to the fucking action. <laughs> thirds of the anime fans out there and if you agree then sit your ass down because we need to talk yeah i'm not saying that they don't have any female characters let's start here it's 2023 and the fresh season of anime has graced us okay. with more new content than a struggling only fans creator trying to make ends beat <laughs> nudes nudes anyone <laughs> more new anime means more waifus and more waifus means more Weebs buying body pillows. Oh, yeah. This it's isn't true. the part I'm worried about. People no. have been delusionally obsessed with two-dimensional women for the better part of the last 30 years. What I'm worried about is... Meow, 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 meow. That's where society's headed, everybody. You know it, I know it, everybody knows it. Meow. Oh, you want to see my butt? What the fuck? I don't know if you noticed, but... 2D waifus have been slowly but surely clawing their way into our 3D world. They're even- Oh, they absolutely are. Yep. The reason why is because 2D waifus don't get older. True. And they look the exact same, and they're really hot. Exactly. And because people spend more time on the computer than they do in real life, how can you say that the 2D waifu isn't real whenever people spend more time with her than a real girl? Right? She's real to me. Okay? Don't judge me. I mean, like, oh, man. shit. Seems pretty real to me. That No, that sh that's what people, that's where they, that's where their head goes. Yeah, exactly. Seriously starting to become a real option for uh -huh. romance they're evolving from manga to oh, anime yeah. to vtubers getting closer and closer to reaching their final four <laughs> Bro, what from is manga this to anime to vtubers get oh my fucking god it's true look at it look at it it actually happened this way oh man manga anime vtuber what's next yep there we go it's shy lily yeah Getting closer and God. closer to reaching their final form. Oh, AI man. sex robots. Yeah. I know what you're thinking. This is fucking awesome. No, it's not. It's much worse. No, no, it's not. Worse than everyone thinks. I'm only half joking when I say this is the AI apocalypse Elon was warning us all about. Uh -huh. This yeah. is how we go extinct. Here's why. Guys, Guys November 2018. Out. A man in Japan whips out his iPhone and downloads Tinder. It's full of lovely ladies looking to mingle. There are so yep. many lovely ladies on here. The only problem is- <laughs> Is that true? I've actually- I really mean this, and I know that you won't believe this. I have never downloaded a dating app. 
Oh, good for you, Asma. I've never done it. Good for you. What's it like? <laughs> like, I've had girls show me, like, what their, their matches on a dating app is. And a lot of the guys... I can see why they watch Andrew Tate. <laughs> oh, man. Not good, I huh? can see why. Not good. It's not good. Yeah. It's pretty dog shit. Very different for girls versus guys. Yeah, I was watching... Oh, man, I don't remember who it was. But it's basically like... This dude was talking to this girl about her experience on Tinder. And it's like, oh, yeah, I get like you know, 1,700 matches in a month or something. And then this other dude is, the the dude talking is like, oh, yeah, I, I match with maybe one or two that I actually talk to. It's like, dang. It is very, very slanted in the girl's favor on Tinder. I got my girlfriend on a dating app. We're on two years. There you go. I banged 10 women on Tinder with the same dumb opening line it's worth. There you go. <laughs> You would eventually need to go out and meet them if you use dating apps. Yeah, that's the worst part, isn't it? Yep. It's fucking dumb. I feel like an ogre. <laughs> you just work out more and, you know, like, take care of your appearance. It's very different for girls versus guys. Well, yeah, because there's a lot of dudes out there. And, like, the hot girls, like, they get way more matches. Yep. I mean, it just... They don't even have to put in effort. It's just the guys come to them like a flock of bees to honey i don't you get this you get the point makes sense that's just that's just how it is they're not looking to mingle with him mm -hmm. he swipes oh, and no. swipes until his thumb turns blue yeah. but barely gets any matches right and the matches he does get left him on red this is like a link to some sort of like fucking uh like bot thing Ah, uh, there we go. Weeks go by and yep. Akihiko Kondo starts getting resentful. Until one day, he decides to take control of his dating life and change his fate. There you go. He looks there himself go. in the mirror, there steals his resolve, and does the only reasonable thing a grown man desperately out of fucking okay. the ladies can do. What does he do? He marries a VTuber. Oh. Okay. Oh no. Well, how could you say that she's a hologram if she's right there? That's not a hologram. True. I can see her. True. That's Is that soda popping? Yeah. Okay, I made most of that up. But Kondo's story is a chilling preview of what's to come when technology <laughs> finally catches up. And he's not special. There's thousands of people in Japan who have- Future's not looking good, boys. It's- it's not looking good. This guy knows. <laughs> he knows. Yeah, he's got the face. Yep. Married or are in relationships with two-dimensional anime women. Yeah. They're called fictosexuals. Oof. And they're part of the LGTV community. Okay. You bigot. The point I'm trying to make here is there's a ton of guys who have given up on relationships with women in favor of... Well, of course they have, because it's hard. I can attest to that. A married man speaking here, and it is hard. It's hard. Yeah, no shit. Like, it, it's not a surprise, is it? No, and no. And then also, like, really. here's also the truth. <laughs> give it, Asmon. Come on, give it to us. I'm trying to decide how real I want to be with this. No, we can handle it. Come on. Come on. We're going to be 100% real. Tonight. All right. We can take it. We're going to be 100% real. We can handle it. Come on. I know some people aren't going to like it. Oh, it's fine. But it's true. Let's go. There are a lot of guys that put no effort and time into their appearance. Ow. Their two main personality traits is uh, being extremely opinionated about politics <laughs> and being good at League of Legends. <laughs> and by good, I don't necessarily mean a challenger, I mean gold. <laughs> Why is this so accurate? Why is this so accurate?
This is hitting too close to home. Uh, not the political part for me, but uh, League of Legends. <clears throat> and uh, not really taking too much care of my physical appearance. I mean, I've been blessed with uh, decent genes to where I, I don't just gain light, weight like crazy from sitting all day. But uh, I'm not necessarily super fit and in shape either. This is hitting close to home. Um, they put no effort into working out or yep. being healthy yep. or cultivating any sort of a positive lifestyle. Yep. They're rude, entitled. Probably. Yep. And uh, just in general belligerent. <laughs> And I think that if you were going to rate them on a scale of 1 to 10, like we all do, yep, they would be somewhere between a 3 and a 4. Oof. Well, they spend all day Oof. interacting with internet waifus and girls online that they're donating to on their OnlyFans. Yep. And these girls are 7s, 8s, 9s, and 10s. So they go and try and talk to the girls on social media websites, yep. on yep. dating profiles that are also a seven, eight, nine, or 10. And those girls aren't interested in them. They're taking their life skills and they're applying it. What, what do you mean? This is the type of message that I send in my, my OnlyFans donation. Why, does this, why, why doesn't this work for you? I don't, I don't understand. Because they're fucking losers. And this girl is a lot hotter. She's really attractive. And because of that, she can get a, a you know, more successful, a better looking boyfriend. Yep, true. And a lot of guys, are going to say, wow, what a gold-digging whore. <laughs> True. Meanwhile, they don't want to date a girl that's over 150 pounds, and they also don't want to date a girl that's under a D cup. Yeah. Come on, guys. Let's be honest with ourselves a little bit. Sometimes your expectations are a little bit too way too sky high. Like, way too high. So guess what? A lot of double standards. Yep, exactly. I think that the last 10 years has been a bunch of guys who have simultaneously increased the expectations for women in terms of their appearance. Yep, yep. And simultaneously made excuses for not changing their own. Completely fair. I think in the last two years, that's changed a bit. And there's been more of a focus on fitness and things like that, taking accountability. I, I could I could agree with that. I think I've seen a lot more fitness pushes in social media and stuff like that. Uh, so, yeah, I could I could definitely agree with that part. And I think that's very good. It's a very good thing. But I am sick of guys that put no effort and no work into improving their life or being a person that you would want to be around. Right. Complaining. And talking about how the world is rigged because nobody likes them. Exactly. Exactly. I'm tired of it. Come on. The world is not rigged. You just got to put in put in just even like like 10% more effort. And I, I, f I feel like you would see a, a way bigger payoff. These people are boring. They have no personality. And, and they're also not attractive. Yep. They don't do Preach. anything. Why would anybody want to date somebody like that? Preach, brother. It's true. It's true. I, I mean... Facts, like people uh, are saying in chat. That go to the gym, bro, focus shit's annoying, though, holy? Then don't. Yeah, I mean, don't go to the gym and just don't be surprised when the 7s, 8s, 9s, and 10s are not interested in you. You... It's not even about looking ripped. It's more the concept of like, oh, this this guy cares about taking care of himself. I mean, sometimes it's about being ripped. Let's be honest. But <laughs> I think it's mostly about like, oh, he he cares about taking care of himself. I mean, th then don't do it. Yeah. But what if you were all those things so you can do a backflip? Oh, that'd be cool, though. <laughs> yeah, their, their incel personality is an active repellent. Yeah, and a lot of these people also like a, a big factor straight up is personality yeah yeah it's very true a lot of them are just assholes girls like a funny guy a lot like if you can be like kind of gentlemanly or whatever but you're mostly just funny you'll get girls way more than the freaking i don't know you could look like a giga chad but have 
a jerk personality and girls would be I don't think not as not as interested. They're just dicks. Straight yep. up, they're just fucking assholes. Like they're rude. Oh they, yeah. They're they're mean, they'll say stupid stuff. Like, yeah, I mean, I don't want to hear about this fucking bullshit. Like, oh, it's like men are men are being turned away. Like, all these guys, they think that they're 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 in such a great position. Seriously, like, why do you guys think like, hey, I like your knockers. They're huge. Show me like that's going to win you the girl versus like being sweet and like maybe telling a funny joke. Like, come on. What? Bro, I bet you're not. Yeah, for real. So that's what I think. Guys punching way above their weight class and then getting upset whenever they get rejected. Yep. And then having the same superficial uh, expectations that women do, except they're different expectations. And yeah. then they think that they're even they're they're more different. And the best part about it is the fact is like the, a girl's boob size or like how attractive she is has way less bearing or importance or relevance on the success of a relationship yep. than a guy's a guy having a lot of money. I think it's much more logical for a girl to want a guy that has a lot of money, and it makes a lot more sense than a guy wanting a girl that's really attractive. Yeah, yeah. Like, in terms of uh, fucking, like, I'm talking, like, evolutionary. Right, like right, I'm right. I'm not talking about, obviously, yeah, you want a hot girlfriend, but, like, in terms of, like, an evolutionary goal, it seems like it makes a lot more sense. It's like, think about, you know, caveman days. It's like, there's, like, th two girls in the village... And, like, one guy goes out, and he's a hunter, and he gets a buffalo. Right. Another guy comes out, and he uh, kills, like, three squirrels, and he eats all three of them. <laughs> so who's going to be able to feed a family? Right. Well, I'm going to say the buffalo killer. Yeah. So yep. it would make sense that women would... We're picking up what you're throwing down, Asmon. Don't worry. ...want to go with the guy that kills buffaloes rather than squirrels. Right. That's all I'm saying. It's true. I, I mean, I don't know. Uh, now nah, you want your good genes for your offspring? That's why appearance is important for men? Oh, yeah, definitely that matters. Like, for sure, but it doesn't matter as much as being able to eat. <laughs> being true. able to take care of somebody, yeah. True. Or they won't want to be around a guy who constantly blames women for all their problems? Yeah. I don't know. You guys think that's... You guys think I'm right about this? I definitely think he's right. I don't think that, this isn't crazy. This is not crazy talk. This makes sense. I, I, I feel like I feel like this. I feel like what I'm saying makes a lot of sense. Yep, it definitely does. I know a lot of people. Uh, this is kind of like an unpopular opinion. OK, let's hear it. But that's what I really think. Oh, oh, OK. He's saying that the opinion he just gave is an unpopular opinion. I, you know, I mean, I kind of agree with him, right? He's, he's talking, he's talking sense in terms of evolution, right? Like cavemen, woman wants the man that brings in the buffalo. She wants a provider, right? And uh, we get shown that all the time. Uh, and then with evolution, we have more personality, more, you know, communication and, sh and, and social aspects. So we want to, uh, women want a man that can provide and be kind to them, make them laugh make them all around happy in their life just makes sense right but kind of generalizing you can't have a conversation about a general group of people without generalizing true uh, of course it goes both ways obviously yeah there's some girls like oh my god <laughs> there's some girls and it's like you know me right i mean look at me i'm not there's a difference with girls obviously right like yeah, you want you want the guy that that can provide for you, but if you're just a gold digger, like if you're a straight up jerk, you're so just dirt to or you know treat this guy like absolute dirt. I mean, there's an obvious flaw there. <laughs> I'm a beggar, not a chooser, right? And there have been some hot girls that I've talked to over the years, and they're so boring and dumb that <laughs> I actually stopped talking to them. Oh man. That's how bad it was. Dang. Like, it, it really, like, I've, I've actually done that. Like, it sounds crazy. Like, I can't even believe it. But, yeah, it do be like that sometimes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, I definitely feel this. I had a girlfriend once that I would consider to be, like, a nine. 
if we were using numbers, if we were using numbers, right? Uh, but she was just not, she was just not interesting. She just could not hold a, a decent conversation. And it was a killer for me. It was really hard. It was really hard for me. Exactly. So obviously that didn't work out. Cat girl waifus. How does one become fictosexual? I think the logic goes something like this. Real women are scary and mean. Anime girls will love me forever. So <laughs> exactly. I'm going to date them instead. And of course these guys get made fun of. And of yeah. course they get ridiculed. And historically... That's been enough of a reality check in the past to keep most weeps from marrying their body pillows. <laughs> but I get the feeling that there's going to be a lot less laughing and a lot more when Elon finally delivers on his Tesla sex robots. There yeah. You, go. you can probably see that this is a real fucking problem, but it's only the tip of the wife bird because anime waifus also cause... Oh yeah, absolutely. Like 100%. Yep. Unrealistic expectations. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's not good. Let's shift the conversation and talk about 3D women for a sec. Oh yeah, no! Younger, I used to think that pretty girls didn't fart. Like, I didn't know if their digestive tracts <laughs> were specially evolved to not produce gas or if they duct taped their bottles shut every morning before showing That's up to smart. class. Yeah. Whatever it was, the idea of a hot girl chugging a family-sized bucket of KFC before farting her ass off just like a dude <laughs> was something I didn't even consider possible in my reality. Well, there are other people that feel go. the exact opposite about that. Reality. But as we get older and start dating, we start to realize that pretty girls aren't these perfect, omniscient yep. beings. They're yeah, just yeah, people. Yeah. They burp, they take their morning dumps, and clog up the toilets from time to time. It's pretty hard to beat this. <laughs> I mean, true. Why can't they all be like this, right? Oh man. Yeah, no. This is this is just unrealistic. I mean, like if you're a real girl, this is a really high bar to meet. <laughs> True. Absolutely. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> These aren't people. Waifus in anime, particularly harem anime, mm -hmm. are designed to be perfect in every single way. Yeah, of course. They're yep. kind, they're loyal, and their poop probably smells like the inside of a giant bag of Skittles. <laughs> and while it's cool to pander to the fantasies of horny weebs from time to time, I feel it starts to get a little dangerous when misguided dudes unironically start to confuse fiction with reality. Anime True. women give men unrealistic expectations. Oh, of course. In the same way, watching too much porn kind of makes you expect every girl to be hot. What watching kind of a fucking yeah, anime yeah. is that, by the way? God. Watching too much anime can start to make you expect all women to be these angelic, selfless creatures with thick thighs and hitchcock boobas. Yep. Wait, aren't they supposed to be? Come on, what are you talking about? What? <laughs> No, yeah, seriously, it can mess up your expectations, for sure. When in reality... <laughs> Alright, the point I'm trying to make is that... Women are just people. Flawed people, like you and me. True. And when young weaves raised on anime yep, grow up and start venturing out into the dating world, they find this out the hard way, and go... <laughs> What's the point? Yeah, fuck this! If I can't have my own Asuna Chan, and... Everything is ruined if I can't have my perfect... Waifu! Uh. Choose to stay single, holding out for a real-life anime waifu, which, sadly, doesn't exist. No, it's not real. There's one guy who thinks like this, and I'm pretty sure they're way more like him. Which brings us to... Is it uh -oh. a coincidence? The country that invented waifu culture also has one of the lowest birth rates in the world? Ooh. Maybe. Yeah, Japan's in a little bit of trouble if they're not gonna fix things here, uh... Maybe you stop producing so much anime and uh, manga. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta do something about that birth rate, or you're just not gonna have people living in that country anymore. But I'm gonna make the connection anyway. Did you know that Russia banned isekai? This was all the way back in 20. Wow. What the fuck is isekai? Like that's like a genre of anime. Like I have no idea what any of these things are. It's just like if I see one and it's good, I just watch it. Mm. Alternate universe. Oh, it's like over. Oh, that's crazy. One about a year before the war, 
Oh. Anime is a great storytelling device, bringing to life unique characters from distant realities to explore hard-hitting themes while entertaining us to no end. But where it's not so great is when people start taking shit too far. I have a huge problem in my relationship, which is making me anxious and I'm afraid of doing the wrong thing. See, I'm extremely attached to waifu name, and I love her very much. I want to be able to give her the world and sing her praises from my heart for all eternity. But I feel like a disrespectful freeloader when I'm with her, which makes me really sad and keeps me up at night. Why? Because I'm a dude, and my two-dimensional waifu might be gay. How do I tell my parents? Oh no! Oh, you poor sap. Oh boy. I... What do I say? Oh, man. There's so many things I could say. Get some help. Uh, talk to a friend. Uh, get a new perspective. Um, uh, I'm so sorry that you're in this position, uh, but you never should have got here in the first place. Oh, man. I'm so conflicted on this one. Wow. Parents, I have a waifu. Yeah. Can you imagine telling somebody that's like a veteran of the Civil War about this? <laughs> like, he just got done with the Civil War, like, you know, let's say 15 years ago. <laughs> and he works on a farm. And you fucking explain this shit to him. <laughs> the dude's like, I'm done, dude. No, I can't even hear this right now. I just fought for this country and my life. And the crap you're talking stupid. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, That's man. what I always think about. Like, what a, what a life. Yeah. What is going on? And don't want a real girlfriend. Just tell them 3D females have shitty personalities and uh -huh. will waste your time and money just to There you go, Larry. You and they'll always True be brother. and make fun of me when I don't shower for two weeks. Uh-huh. <laughs> OMG, third year anniversary and he's so pretty. Oh boy. <laughs> Oh boy. There's What's one that? core problem oh, with waifus, and it's the same reason Russia is boycotting Konosuba. Escapism. Escapism is the idea that you can run away from your problems in the real world by yeah. escaping, psychologically at least. This works really well. Um, anytime that I'm awake, I'm trying to distract myself. The <laughs> fact that like I'm like uh, I exist usually, and so I'm spending a lot of my time on the internet, and I can go like. I can probably go an entire month and if nothing annoys me or nothing like kind of gets into my space, it can yeah. be like a day. Oh yeah. Too real? Absolutely. Yeah, I do this shit all the time. There you go. Escapism to the max. I, I talked about this recently with a another video I did, the uh are MMOs bad for you. And uh, I said in that one, I'll say it again, I, I think escapism is okay, but for the short term, I don't think your whole life should be escapism because you have a life to live. Go, like, go and live it, you know? Uh, you know, get through a hard time or whatever with escapism, but uh, you got to come back to reality at some point or it's really, really unhealthy in my opinion into another one. That's one reason Isekai is so popular. Are you getting bullied at school? Made fun of at work? Yeah. Do you have zero luck with uh -oh. women? Well, just put on the latest episode of Smartphone in Another World and be surrounded by hot chicks and infinite power for the next 22 minutes. There you Great. go. Look, I'm not gonna shit on anyone for watching Isekai. I love the stuff. But where it starts... Yeah, I love watching... Dude, I watched Sword Art Online. That shit was badass. I watched Overlord. I finished... Hey, 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 watch yourself, Asmon. The first arc of Sword Art Online was really badass, okay? Uh, did I just out myself? Dang it! I, I, and uh, by the way, I watched all of Overlord, and I watched all of the, uh, what was the other one? Fucking Log Horizon. I yep. finished both of those. They're all good. Yeah! It, I, I, I've been watching, like, I mean, Goblin Slayer is like half and half, right? It's kind of oh. like that. It's kind of not. Come on, it was and, good. And, uh, yeah, I, I thought they were great, man. I mean, Shield Hero. It good. would be great if you had your own personal Albedo in real life. Uh, 
That time I got reincarnated as a slime. Really good. But I'm not a skeleton lord either. I mean, like, <laughs> well. Some could argue. I, I mean, you see what I'm saying, though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We get you. We get, get you out of hand it. is when people rely on fiction to cope with their real life problems. Uh -huh. Getting a waifu or two because you're jaded by how girls treat you at I, school. I don't even think that's true. I think it's a, it's a problem whenever you you rely on fiction to distract you and make you forget your real life problems, so you don't deal with them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm glad that he's saying this. Yeah, he clarified here, and uh, this is what I agree with. You can't. You can't just ignore your real life problems and just totally consume your real life with this other world or anime game, whatever. Uh, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta acknowledge them and deal with them eventually. Uh, like I said, short term good, long term not good. See, like coping with shit is fine. Yeah, right. Isn't going to make them treat you better. Sure, you might feel safe and secure in the imaginary arms of your two dimensional cat girl friend, mm -hmm. but in the long run, <laughs> it's probably just gonna make things worse. Right. Hiding from the truth doesn't make it go away. Exactly. It just means that you're gonna have That's to. That's not true. Um, there are plenty of things that I have ignored them for long enough, they did go away. <laughs> Don't listen to this. Fair enough. We need to learn from Asmon, everybody. If you just ignore things long enough, they will go away. Ignoring problems works very regularly. Okay. I'll give you an example. My teeth were a problem. I ignored them. They went away. <laughs> yeah, they went away as in they degraded so far that they just fell out. Pay your dues a little later with interest on top. I know this for a fact. I've seen people live for the longest time in their own distorted realities. When things go wrong and their protective bubble finally pops, they're so far detached from the real world yep. that their entire life falls apart. Yeah. And they go running back to their mommies at age 40. The world right. isn't cherries and sunshine, and you're gonna have to face reality sooner or later. Fair. So what are you waiting for? Turn off that hentai and watch some real porn instead. <laughs> I mean, he said it, not me. It is time. <laughs> oh, that's a good fucking transition right there. Holy fuck. Uh, the yeah, I think this video is, is actually really good. I like I think that video is actually really good. I liked it. Uh, yeah, I mean, that pretty much sums it up, right? Touch grass, everybody. Go find yourself a real girl with realistic, realistic, expecta with realistic expectations in mind. Clean yourself up. Like... Try to be funny, try to be a nice guy, and then you'll get the high 7, 8, 9, 10 that you're hoping for. This was really good. So what do you think, guys? Are anime waifus good for you, or do you need to find yourself a real girlfriend? Let me know in the comments, and uh, leave a like, a subscribe, and I'll see you next time.